thing about being a cop is you notice everything. Whether you're out to police business or just out to death, you notice everything. So, you think I would have no trouble at all in solving this heinous crime?
Vello would have never been near the podium if Mr. Silk was not incapacitated and unable to announce her. Did you poison Silk so that Bella would die? Yeah, you get it, buddy. Really? Really? Yeah. That's the best you could come up with. Yeah, damn right it is. Let me guess, your career role model was Inspector Silk? So? Yeah, damn right it is. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened. Yes, I caused Silk to be, let's say, otherwise engaged when he should have been announcing Bella. You see, Mr. Silk has attention issues where women are concerned, and I was merely, in my own special way, reminding him to keep his eyes on the prize. Me. I put Ipecac in his champagne. It's over. It's done. No lasting effects. I was only on stage to sing. I never went anywhere near the podium, and I had absolutely nothing to do with Rolando <coughs> Bay's death over here. Are we done now? Not quite. <clears throat> Please take a seat. Lord save me from plotting, policeman. Plot, 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 uh. Putting aside any enemies, or lack thereof, that Bella had, I started to think about the how of the crime. Who had the knowledge to rig the explosive that claimed Bella's life? Wow. Not bringing down the ceiling. I'm pretty sure we all appreciate that. Am I right, folks? <laughs> okay, you can clap if you want. That's pretty good. <laughs> however, however, I think you would agree that takes a professional punch. And I'm sure a traveling variety show is bound to have one person with a pyrotechnics license. No, Chef B! All right, buddy. I was very interested to see that you have your pyrotechnics license. Do you get a lot of calls for that in the cake business? Actually, I do. Just last July, I built a Statue of Liberty cake for a client with fireworks. Oh, it's fantastic. But besides, I'm not the only one. Terry Velvet and Hook all have it as well. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So, we have four, count them, four, more people with the knowledge to rig the explosive that frickin' murdered this girl, guys. Come on. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! But they say I'm the drama queen. No! <laughs> Hold on there a minute. Of course we had our pyrotechnics license. We're the tech crew. It's part of our job. And, and, and besides, it was an open casting call. We had no way of knowing she was going to be here. We have no motive. True, true. <clears throat> but you did have opportunity. The three of you were involved in setting up the stage this evening. Dude. Did someone drop you on your head when you were a baby? <laughs> of Sorry. course we set up the stage. We're the stage crew. Duh! <laughs> My Bellalicious is dead. I want to know who did this so I can rip them limb from limb. Mama, oh, please. All right. There was one thing that really just put everything into perspective for me. One thing that really clinched it. <clears throat> there was a timer on the bar. And so, when the announcement for the audition was made, was crucial. Once in place, the bomb could not be stopped. <clears throat> Think about that for a minute. The bomb <clears throat> could not be stopped. Now, <clears throat> Ruby, you've been with the show for a few years now. Can you tell everyone who sets the order of auditions? That is Bella's job. She always decides the order of the auditions and Silk always announces every act. They are absolutely obsessed with it. So, who was supposed to be at the podium when the audition was made? Who, aside from poor Bella, was the only one to take the podium? Me? Oh. <laughs> yes. You. Bella was only up here tonight because you were in the bathroom. I believe you were the intended victim this evening and not Miss Delight. <laughs> why, why would anyone want to hurt me? Oh, I know. Oh. oh, buddy! Oh, I do hate to give you bad news. No. 
<laughs> but the comment I heard repeatedly was that no one foresaw Bella's death. Because in this show, it's silk everyone hates. Oh, you must be mistaken. I am universally loved by one and all. Ha! <laughs> Just more boobs and bums. You're pathetic, misogynistic, hey! 